Once the system has been vacuumed out and you've closed off the valve on the gauge that controls the blue side or low side, you can now start adding refrigerant. Now what I've done is I've disconnected the pump, the vacuum pump, from the yellow service hose and I'm connecting it to the refrigerant tank before I open the tank. Once I connect the tank to the service hose, I'll crack the other end, the gauge end of the yellow service hose, just a little bit and then I'll open the refrigerant tank up. And I'll open that valve at the tank up. You can hear refrigerant coming out. And then I'm gonna flip the tank upside down like you see there. And we have just a little bit of refrigerant coming out of the yellow service hose at the gauge end. And then we'll close off that gauge end. And we'll have a complete seal. And what we've done is we've purged the air out of the yellow service hose. So we have a vacuum on the blue hose and we have refrigerant in the yellow hose. And now that we've got our hoses set up, we can open the valve, the blue valve that is, on the gauge end to allow refrigerant to flow into the system. Once I've completed weighing in the proper amount of refrigerant into the system, I'm gonna close off the blue valve, the blue gauge valve, and then I'm gonna flip the tank right side up and close off the valve on the tank. key specification you're going to need to know is how much refrigerant to put into your system. Now, this is the spec sheet for our LG mini split system. And as you can see, it requires 6.17 pounds of R410A refrigerant. If we had over 98 feet of line sets to deal with, which we don't, we would have to add refrigerant on top of that 6.17 pounds. Let's review. First, vacuum the air out of your system, then verify there are no leaks in the system. Disconnect the pump and connect the refrigerant tank to the yellow service line. Make sure you crack one end or actually the gauge end of the service line so that you can purge any air out of the yellow service line. Then you'll connect the refrigerant tank while it's right side up. Open the valve on the refrigerant tank and then flip the tank upside down preferably onto a digital scale so you can weigh in exactly how much refrigerant that you need. You see a scale that I'm using right there. Now you can open up the blue valve on the gauge set. Open it gradually. You don't want to blow in refrigerant too quickly and just allow the refrigerant into the system. Make sure you keep tabs on the weight. Once you've added the right amount of refrigerant, go ahead and close up the blue valve on the gauge set. Here's our system running at about 130 to 135 PSI. It's cooling off great. It's running well. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.